watching. Yeah. Hey guys. I recorded the four graphic liners video and um, <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Then I tried to record me doing this glittery look. It didn't work out. No. And now here I am. Probably gonna do some watercolor look. So I have I. So I have some breakouts over here. I swear. <coughs> They don't look like much on camera, but IRL, they are plump and sore. I'm going to show you guys what I do when they're too red and because I mess with them. Why, why do I do this? When I want to tone down the redness, I just take some visine and put them on the areas that are red and irritated. I saw a dermatologist do it and um, now I do it. I'm gonna take my foundation. I'm doing shade one of Milani Conceal and Perfect and shade two. Y'all, there's gonna be another election. Glow, wow. My skin feels very. Bouncy. Okay, let me add my concealer. This is Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Actually, not even. Hey, babe. Look, you're on camera. I'm considering using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot again, but I'm trying not to purchase um, animal tested products. I do use animal tested products, but it, they are the products that I've already had for years. I'm not gonna throw them away. I spent good money on them. What is it? What is a powder past the use of 12 months gonna do to me? I want to find something similar to Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I am not going to get P. Louise Beauty, the people I trust that have similar skin types to mine. It's not It's not working for them. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. With that said, let's set these eyes. Damn, I'm ugly. Okay, so I want to use one of these Juvia's Place palettes because their shadows are so buttery, they blend so easily, and they're pigmented. I want to do something with draped blush, but I'm trying not to do pink. Just I'm trying to do a neutral earthy tone. I've had this palette for a while and these are the two shades that always stand out to me, but I just noticed this shade and it's a pretty nice shade. Maybe I can. Let's see where the night takes us. I'm probably gonna use multiple palettes. I'm gonna take crepes and I'm using this ABH A22. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep this warm red shade up here and then I think I'm gonna do brown down here, like a really toasty brown and have it kind of go into my contour. So now I'm going into the Warrior palette by Julia's Place and I'm going to take Gano. And I'm placing it right beneath the red here. Boy, oh boy, am I not sure how I feel about this. Okay, I'm gonna take creme, and it's this creme 
pink right here. And I'm gonna take that on the same brush. I've been using the same brush for everything. And I'm gonna apply it up here. Ha! Ah, this is becoming more and more avant-garde. Really, I just wanted like a drape blush that you could wear out. And I'm really just now I'm going to apply some right here on my cheek. Where, where's the brown? Where's the brown now? If you don't think I'm going to add pink to my nose, you're wrong. I'm just going over the edges of this with whatever is left over on my foundation brush. I want there to be a pretty significant contrast in color on the lids. So I'm probably going to go for a blue. I know... I know what I said about leaning towards more neutral side, but if you're telling me this brown over here isn't neutral, I do really like that pink against that brown though. It looks really nice. To me, to me, I think I'm going to take Sky Skimmer. It's a powder pigment from Star Crush Minerals and it's this guy. And these are super pigmented, but they are weird. They'll just wipe off in some areas of your eye. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen because I have a plan. I'm going to take this 813 from ABH. Just patting. There it goes. It's doing the thing. It's, it's doing the thing. And I know once I start blending, it's just going to blend away. Oh my God. Look at that. Not today, Star Crush Minerals. It has to be the shades with the blue and purple pigment in it because my other shades from them don't do this. Gosh. Just want a nice blue. <laughs> ah, Sykes Bomb! I'm gonna use Life on Mars instead because life on Earth is dying. So my camera was acting weird. So I went ahead and did this side. I'm gonna take that red shade from Julia's Place and I'm going to put it on the very outer corner of my lower lash line, just right here. That's it, that's it. And now I'm gonna take a face paint. I'm gonna take the one from Mayron and it's a light blue um, water activated face paint. And I'm just gonna apply, I'm not gonna show you guys my palette because I really don't wanna embarrass myself like this. Brittany, oh, would you look at who it is? Okay, so I'm gonna apply that right in here. I shouldn't have put this much water on the brush because I want it to be a little tackier so I can blend it like as if it were a cream shadow. But I'm placing it all along here and I'm rinsing off my brush, drying it off. And I'm just gonna pull at these edges a bit. You could probably use an actual blending brush for this, but I, I'm lazy. Brush for it. What do you want? I'm so sorry, hold on. I just got home. Oh, are you filming? Oh my god, hey. The tea is hot. What it is the tea? It got upgraded from yesterday. I'm gonna quit for you. I'm like it. Okay. That was a long phone call. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this <laughs> old ass liner from ColourPop in the shade Prance. And I'm gonna put it in my waterline. And if you want to know why I use this brush to apply to my waterline, it's because I'm stupid. This brush is far too large. Before I do this on this side, I'm going to add, I'm going to highlight a bit. 
I'm gonna use this little palette from ColourPop. It's called Crush On You. I saw these highlights and I wasn't that impressed, but when I swatched them, they are, they are so, so soft. Then when I swatch it on my hand, it gives the prettiest sheen, like, like wet almost. But the issue is when I applied it with my brush yesterday, you can see these little holes over here in each of the shadows or each of the highlights that um, it was really difficult for my brush to pick up product. And I used different types of brushes too, but it was not picking up the product the way I wanted it to. But they're so soft and I really want to make this work. But it's just making holes, see? It's hardly picking anything up in the brush. Okay, okay, it's applying. And I love it because look, oh my god, yeah, yeah! Glow, gone, which I like because I like that when you look forward, it doesn't leave that dark shadow on your face from the base color. It's, this is exactly what I wanted, yes. Yes, yes. Let's add some watercolor action. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques blending brush. I'm dipping it into this aqua color from Creolon. It's pretty saturated with water, more water than face paint, and I'm just, well, y'all have seen me do this. F no! Is it on my shirt? <laughs> I mean, it's fitting. That's a good tear. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good tear. Now I'm gonna take that light blue face paint that I used over here on my lower lash line and I'm gonna mimic this I'm just gonna splash it wherever can you just give me time This was supposed to be more subtle. It was supposed to be more like this side. I'm in here with my boyfriend. What is that? That's your Sit. wallet. Uh, what Should are you doing with me? No, Dennis, I'm not eating these donuts. Please. Looks like filled with a hazelnut filling. Oh my god. I bit into it and even... shot in my mouth. <sighs> okay, well, I want to say I love you. If you want one, there's going to be one in the kitchen. Shut up. Now I'm taking my paintbrush, which is actually not just, it has face paint on it. As you can see, I started dripping it but I wasn't filming because Dennis rudely interrupted me. And here we go. Would you look at who it is? Unraveled artistry. I'm gonna do the same thing to the inner corner. I am truly alive.
I'm gonna take Inglot. Focus. I'm gonna take Inglot 113 Pure Pigment. Just amazing. Let me add some freckles and then I'm gonna have lashes and a lip. I'm taking these lashes from the makeup shop. They are eye popping. I think they're called eye popping. I'm pretty sure I have them in the wrong box. Can you, can we, wow, wow. Oh my god, these are so soft. And I want it to be darker. Stone lip pencil from MAC. Yeehaw! That's it. So that's my neutral lip. Um. Hope you guys could follow that. The majority of this was supposed to be this color and I ended up adding blue. I'm actually ending it right now. I'm doing close-ups, ready? How long have you had the previous bed sheets on? Three months. Like, comment, subscribe. What else? Contact your elected representative and voice your issues, especially about the planet, Sandy. I'm really... <laughs> See ya. Ah. Uh.